So guys, once you're on this stage, you wanna click on Shift and F10 on your keyboard, which will then bring up the command prompt. If you're using a laptop, you may have to click on Shift, Fn, and F10 at the same time, but maybe Shift plus F10 will work for you. Just try them both and then see if that works. Now once you're on this, you're gonna type in Reg Edit and click on Enter. And now this will come up. And now once you're on this, you can follow everything I'll be doing up here. So first you wanna expand HQ Local Machine, and then you want to expand System, and now you want to expand Setup. Now once you've expanded setup, you want to right click on the setup folder and then click on new and then click on key. And now you want to rename this new key as lab config and click on enter. Make sure to use the exact same capitals and lowercase that I did in the same order for lab config. And now we're going to be here. And now once you're on this, you want to right click on any blank space and then click on new and then click on dword 32 bit value. And now you want to rename this value as bypass tpm check, click on enter. Make sure that for all these ones that we're going to be creating right now, you want to use the exact same capitals and little cases I did, in the same order and everything. So this is the first one. Now for the second one, you want to right click again on any blank space, click on new, and then click on deal with 32-bit value. There's going to be two more, by the way, after this. So we're going to type in bypass ram check and click on enter. Now for the third one, you want to right click, new, deal with 32-bit value, and type in bypass secure boot check click on enter now for the last one this is if your cpu does not pass the checks but let's just put it in anyway if it does or it doesn't so you want to right click click on new and then click on deal with 32 bit value again now we're going to type in bypass cpu check and click on enter again spell it the exact same way how i did and now once you've done all that now one by one you just want to click on all of them so let's stop the first one bypass tpm check change the value data to one and click on ok repeat this for all of them so next one ram check value data one Secure boot check, value data 1, and CPU check, value data 1, and click on OK. And then once you've done all that, just close this out, and close this out as well. And now you can just select the Windows version that you want, click on Next, and then the problem should be fixed. You could just carry on like normal. You could just install Windows, and then you should be good to go.